Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aidy Sofi binti Shamsul Zainal with matrix number of 2020589371 in Diploma in Business Studies in class of MBA 3.14B. So today, I would like to present about my individual assignment on Nestle Company. And without further ado, I would like to start off with my uh, presentation with uh, introduction about the company products and services. Secondly, the assessment of the company, which consists of character, capacity, capital, collateral, and commission. And last but not least, a uh, summary of SWOT analysis, which consists of strength, weaknesses, opportunity, and threats. The introduction of the Nestle company. So, Nestle is a multinational food and beverage conglomerate. The ranks among the world's largest and the Henrich Nestle, also known as Henry Nestle, founded the Nestle company in Switzerland in 1866 and Nestle Malaysia began as the Anglo-Swiss condensed milk company in Malaysia in 1912. So the Nestle com uh, company in Malaysia, which is headquartered in Mutiara Damansara, Petani Jaya Selangor and employs over 5,000 people across the country. So Nestle also produces its own product in seven factories. And interesting about Nestle, which um, they also have the objective, which to be the world's leading nutrition, health and wellness company by creating world-class products of consistent quality, reliability and convenience while adhering to business excellence standards across the board. And so the company also aim to improve people's quality of life by making tasty food and beverages available to them wherever they go and they may live a healthier lifestyle. So there's a Malaysian soft drink industry for example. Um, uh, in Malaysia we have the FNN Syndrome Berhad, uh, Pemanis Syndrome Berhad, um, Hoka E Syndrome Berhad and also Dutch Lady Industries Berhad. So as we all know, Nestle Malaysia Berhad produces a wide range of products suitable for individuals of all of uh, all ages. So this uh, this company offer a wide range of products such as dairy, coffee, confectionery, um, ice cream, chocolate, uh, liquid drinks, and morning cereals. And as we seen today, uh, they may virtually be found wherever in Malaysia, including cities and villages. And not to forget, um, in every restaurant uses Nestle products in their daily operations. And also we have families that utilize Nestle products like Milo, Nestle cereals, and um, in, it is also popular with schools since it is a simple and time saving. So talking more about the services, more than uh, 300 halal products are produced by Nestle Malaysia Berhad and it includes of Milo, Nestle Fee, Maggi Nestle, Kit Kat, Nestle Bar, Nestle Please, Nutrients, uh, Cerelac and many more. And in Malaysia, Nestle delivers eat products to more than 50 nations around the world. Moving on to the assessment of the company, we have five. So the first one is the character, which refers to a customer's willingness to pay and which is the likelihood that they will make a good faith effort to meet their obligations. So secondly, we have the capacity, a subjective and objective assessment of a customer's financial capability. And it refers to the ability of management to properly manage the firm in order to generate income as well as the availability of financial resources to pay for it. Next, we have capital, a firm's general financial situation which is used to determine its ability to pay and it focuses on the firm's working capital which also is available for obligations made. Uh, we have the collateral. It is used to secure credit by representing tangible and intangible assets to creditors. And lastly, we have the conditions, which refers to the influence of abroad, 
market trends or other specific market conditions on the customer's business operations and capacity to meet obligations. In terms of character, Nestle is a stable company with its own image because it can identify and respond to changing market demands, conditions despite manufacturing hundreds of goods and having a global supplier network. While other companies are suffering by receiving information to track changes in demands in advance, so they can adapt patterns and provide the right orders to suppliers. This Nestle company has a greater liquidity ratio for the year 2019 than 2020. As I can see, under the liquidity ratio, it shows the increase of the current ratio and quick ratio. It shows that the company can pay the short-term obligations on time. Uh, overall, in comparison to 2020, the financial analysis for the current ratio, quick ratio, inventory turnover, average collection period, fixed asset turnover and total asset turnover in 2019 shows that the Nestle company is in a better shape. The uh, corporation can enhance its liquidity ratios by paying off liabilities using term, uh, long-term financing in successfully managing receivable and payables and also to decrease their costs. For the capital, the Nestle company earns net profit margin ratio for in 2019 which is 12.19% uh, and which is greater compared to 2020 which only 10.21% because the higher the ratio indicates the higher the ability of the firm to obtain profit from the given level of sales. Plus, Nestle's uh, return on equity in 2019 is only at 101.20%, uh, which is higher than to 2020 uh, at only 99.21%. And as a result, Nestle makes money from the equity levels that are set. Furthermore, uh, in collateral, which refers to the actual or intangible assets that are offered to creditors as a form of security in exchange for credit, the Nestle company has been a total return of asset uh, which increased in 2019 and has a total of 24.68%, 24, 24 higher than the year of 2020 which made uh, only 19.32%. Therefore, the company gained its profit from the assets and obtained a better return than the year of 2019. Finally, the term condition, which refers to the economic circumstances that may affect the borrower, and Nestle Company maintains its performance in the face of adversity throughout the COVID-19 but there is a trend shows that there is decreasing in 2019 and 2020. Nestle was fortunate that its income and profitability were able to detect and adapt to shifting market demand conditions. And therefore, Nestle is also able to obtain information in, in advance to track changes in demand, allowing them to adapt patterns and provide the appropriate orders to suppliers while other companies are struggling. Nextly, Nestle company has a huge opportunity to grow its online shopping platform and e-commerce site. Uh, a small number of CPGs provide online services to make purchasing more convenient and enjoyable enjoyable and although Nestle company operates online storefronts in a few countries, the business will benefit from expanding its online services to a new places. So Nestle has expanded its company through acquisitions and sold some underperforming brands in 2019 such as Herta, uh, Charcuterie 
and will focus on acquisitions in 2020. So Nestle has a lot of room to develop by diverse, uh, diversifying its portfolio with high performing SMB acquisitions. Lastly, Nestle's track is in an uh, illegal rainforest destruction controversy which resulting in 2017, Nestle was accused of being involved in deforestation of Sumatra's uh, last rainforest. So in this aspect, NGOs and environmentalists have slammed it hard. However, although Nestle is respected by its reputation in the food and beverages sector offering high quality products daily, Nestle's production is heavily reliant of, uh, on the use of water for, for, and for a variety of reasons, the corporation has found it is difficult to obtain clean water from less expensive sources. So this includes rising population, climate changing, uh, rising food and water demand, rising pollution, water waste, and also resources over exploitation. In conclusion, the current ratio for Nestle shows in 2019 is 0.65 times is greater than 2020, which is only at 0.59 times, but the company can pay its short term obligation for both years. So Nestle event return over ratio in 2019 is 6.24 times, which is higher than in the year of 2020, which only 5.77 times. And the company's event return over is high, which could indicate a stronger sales or better managerial control. And throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, Nestle maintained its success in the face of difficulty, but there is a downward tendency tendency in 2019 and 2020. Nestle was fortunate in that uh, it was able to detect and adjust the changing market demand conditions resulting in its increased revenue and profitability. While other companies struggle, Nestle is able to receive information ahead of time to track changes in demand, allowing them to alter patterns and send the right orders to suppliers. Talking about the actual or intangible assets that are offered to creditors as a kind of securities in exchange for credit are referred to as collateral. So Nestle's overall return of assets improved by 24.68% in 2019 compared to 19.32% in year of 2020. And as a result, the corporation gains profit from its asset and earns a higher return in 2019. Furthermore, the Nestle company earns net profit margin ratio for in the year of uh, 2019 is uh, only at 12.90%, which is greater compared to year of 2020, which will be 10.21%, because the higher the ratio indicates the higher ability of the firm to obtain profit from the given level of sales. Plus, Nestle's return on equity in 2019 is 101.20%, which is higher than the year of 2020, which only at 99.21%. Uh, and as a result, Nestle makes decreasing in 2019 and 2020. Before I end my presentation today about the individual assignments on Nestle Company, I would like to express my sincere thanks to Sir Shahi Rubin Shafai and thank you to everyone for watching my video. That's all from me today. Thank you.